welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited today. I'm making my third keto dish and I'm gonna make a pork, a balsamic pork dish. So this is very quick and very easy. It doesn't take much at all as you're not adding a bunch of ingredients into your dish and you know for like side dishes or stuff like that, like potatoes or rice or pasta or anything like that. It is just the pork. It's got some celery in it, some cilantro, bell pepper, and onion and onions and mushrooms, which are all keto friendly. I've been doing my research and I think it's gonna turn out fantastic. So keep watching until the end because I'm gonna show you everything that I'm putting into this pork. So I did buy a whole pork loin roast. I cut it in half and I'll show you that. I've got some of my pork cooking here already. I just cut it into uh, thin long strips and I'm going to be adding my seasonings to that. And that's pretty much about it. It's a, another one of my one pot dishes, but this is a keto recipe, specifically for keto dieters. Um, so I'm hoping it turns out pretty good. Okay, so like I said, I did cut up half of my pork loin roast and I cut it in strips. I've got it on my, or in my pot and it's cooking already. I put in a tablespoon of minced garlic and four uh, stalks of scallions, which are green onions. Um, and I'm just letting it cook down before I add in my other ingredients. And I will show you that when I'm gonna add. All right, so for my seasonings, I'm using celery seed, chili powder, garlic salt, basil, pink Himalayan salt, and um, probably about a half a cup of red wine, and about, oh, maybe a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar. I am also going to incorporate some celery. Celery is on your keto diet list. It's good for you. Um, I'm also going to add one tomato bouillon, um, mushrooms, cilantro, and that's it. I added a little bit of regular uh, Morton's salt and some pepper with my pork that's in the pot cooking. But as you can see, there's the other half of my pork loin and I'm gonna save that. It's very cost effective to buy a big roast, so you can cut it in half and cut it in portions for whatever your daily needs are. You can do your meal preps and everything else and have everything ready to go for you. So it's super easy and I'm just gonna keep on cooking my pork down, add all my ingredients in, and I'll show you that in just a minute. All right guys, my pork has rendered down all of the juices from the pork have cooked out and have gone back into the pork which is a good thing I put in my seasonings everything for the ingredients that I'm using I will list in the description below so you don't have to worry about guessing after you watch this going oh no how much did she add so everything will be in the description box so I'm just gonna cut up my celery and my bell pepper and I'm gonna add in my cup of wine and my tomato bouillon and then my balsamic vinegar and then that's it we're just gonna let it reduce and we're gonna let it party okay guys so I cut up my celery in bite-sized pieces the sun is so bright in bite-sized pieces okay and I used probably about five stalks and cut them in half and then I cut them in the bite-sized pieces so I threw those in. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, before you start cooking your pork, I used a tablespoon of lard, okay? Fat is good, this keto diet. Fat is good, you want good fats, and lard is one of the good fats, and so is butter. Do not use margarine, okay? You can use coconut oil, um, you can use uh, olive oil, um, I think you can use avocado oil. Just go back and do your research before you start adding stuff in because you don't want to mess up your ketosis. That's going to happen. <laughs> so basically you want all the good fat that you can possibly get. All right, so I've got my celery in there. Everything's rendered down. I'm going to pour in my wine. Be very careful so your alcohol does not start fire. All right, oh, that's so yummy. And I'm using a red wine, um, 
it's a red wine blend. So it is a Charles Shaw. Yeah, Charles Shaw blend from Trader Joe's. I got that. So we are going to let the wine, the alcohol of the wine cook out. You don't want that bitter taste in your mouth. So we're gonna let that cook out. And then we're gonna add our balsamic. I just have regular balsamic. Um, I'm going to use a half a cup of this just to get, or actually a quarter cup. Sorry, I said a quarter cup earlier, so I'm going to stick to that. Quarter cup. Quarter cup. Add, go ahead and add that in with your wine. That way all of it reduces because the balsamic is going to get kind of syrupy and really, really delicious and sweet and it'll it'll cut out some of that bitterness too from the wine and also the bitterness from the balsamic vinegar because balsamic vinegar is bitter and tart but at the same time when you cook it down it becomes really sweet so i don't know if you've ever had caprese or anything like that it's the tomatoes and basil and mozzarella cheese with the basil glaze on the top or the, <laughs> the balsamic glaze on the top of it that's what they do they reduce the balsamic vinegar before they put it on there, and it's absolutely delicious. All right, so I am done with that step. I'm putting in my bell pepper last because it doesn't take that long to cook, and I want a little bit of a crunch in there. The celery is going to have texture crunch to it too, but it's going to be a little bit softer in um, texture as far as that's concerned. But for everything else, I'm just going to cover my pot let it let it do its thing let it sit there and party and dance in the pot and everything let all those flavors marry together and we'll have we'll have a nice unity <laughs> look at how delicious that looks it smells divine in here y'all so you have to try this recipe i made up all the ingredients for seasonings and stuff like that because uh, that's just what i do i use my imagination i know my flavor profiles and all of the seasonings that I use pair very well together. So don't underestimate me. I promise you it's going to be fantastic. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I can't wait for this to get in my stomach. The pork is rendering down nicely. The balsamic and wine have reduced and the alcohol is cut out. And this has been simmering on a low, medium low heat for about, oh, I want to say 10 to 15 minutes. When you cut the pork into small strips like this, it doesn't take long for it to cook, but you just want to make sure that you put it on a low heat so it doesn't burn because it'll get tough and you don't want that. So you just want to put it on low to medium low and make sure that you still have a little bit of liquid down there at the bottom that way it infuses with the meat itself but right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add in my whole bell pepper that i cut up in slices okay here's the fun part y'all this is part of the keto diet and <laughs> if you've never seen how people cook keto i was completely in awe and kind of like oh my god are you serious um yeah this is this is this is what's going to happen right now. This is happening right now. That is five tablespoons of unsalted butter. <laughs> five tablespoons. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Look at that. Yeah. So I am just going to put my lid back on and let that cook down, let that butter melt and get that fatty goodness into the pork. And <laughs> that's it, we're done. Okay guys, it is taste time. Look at that deliciousness. And of course I've got my, um, my spicy chili paste there. I've only got half of an egg because I had two eggs this morning and because I have an egg allergy, I didn't want to overdo it. So my stomach gets really upset. I get hives and I itch everywhere. So anyways, we are going to taste this delicious pork, balsamic keto pork. Wow. That is 
is so good. Oh my goodness. And you know what you can actually do too is you can uh, blend up some veggies like celery, um, maybe some uh, uh, broccoli. Put it in the pot to make like a thick gravy. That would be awesome. You can add a little bit of almond milk, unsweetened, unsweetened almond milk. That would probably be really good too. Mmm, you get the nice crunch of the bell pepper. It's not overcooked. Let's see how the celery is. Good crunch there too. Not overcooked. This pork is amazing. It's really, really good, guys. I'm very happy with this. And I am not missing rice or potatoes or pasta. I thought that I would, but this is very filling, especially with all the butter, <laughs> all the butter and the lard that I started out with. It's very, very good. And then plus you have an egg. So you can eat the whole egg if you want, or you could even make like um, over easy eggs or medium, over medium eggs and put it on top of your pork and cut open the yolk and just let it spread all over. That would be a good gravy. That's instant gravy right there. Instant gravy goodness. So. Hmm. Here's, here's to the keto diet. I'm loving it. This is good. And I'm not starving. Like I ate this morning. I had two eggs scrambled with tomatoes and a half a cup of iceberg lettuce and I put a teaspoon of <laughs> sorry a teaspoon of avocado oil and some of my chili sauce on top man it was delicious it was so filling like that was probably 9 9 30 this morning it's 10 after 4 right now and I just started really getting hungry as I was preparing this so when you think you're gonna starve to death you're not and you can you can eat berries and yogurt and things like that to tide you over try this recipe you're gonna love it I promise you mm. remember everything in moderation you don't have to go overboard and you don't have to miss out on the flavors of your favorite dishes just twist it around you know twist it around use your imagination and you'll be you'll be happy i'm happy my belly's happy <laughs> see you guys please like and subscribe to my channel leave me any comments that you have if you have any additional suggestions or recipes that you would like to share with me on my keto journey i would love to hear it so i hope you guys have a blessed day take care